hey guys welcome back to my channel i promised you guys the recipe vlog and so i used salt um seasoning powder garlic powder curry powder um i wasn't sure about using thyme i used pepper and cayenne pepper as well then um i already washed and sliced my potatoes and um yeah there was also um vegetable oil that was not displayed here but i also used that as well as you can see so i added like um i'm an african girl so we we really don't have like measurement but i just like added a reasonable amount just so that um i would use it to mix all my ingredients together then i went ahead to add my salt um just for taste yeah and um it was quite a lot of potatoes trust me so that's why it sort of looks like it's too much but trust me it's not too much then i added my kanye pepper um yeah you can use any pepper you have honestly i just wanted something really spicy and i think i added a lot but it wasn't even hot trust me their pepper here is no hot yeah and then um, i added my seasoning seasoning powder you can use any seasoning powder you can just see how i'm pouring it no measurements actually you can use a, me a measurement if you want but yeah um i'm just pouring three hand then um garlic be careful about the garlic see i almost added a lot but it was still okay um curry powder to just give it that nice scent yeah um i didn't add time because i didn't want the time to like give it this sharp spiky taste but you can add it if you want i added lots and lots of pepper mm -hmm. just one more time because yeah of course i wanted it spicy then i mixed it together at this point i noticed that it was too thick and it wasn't um it was just too thick and it might not like spread evenly well through my potatoes so i decided to add a little bit of more vegetable oil so that you can use any oil if you want so you can use um sunflower oil canola oil whatever suits, olive oil whatever suits you it's okay you understand or you can decide to just apply the mixture like that over your potatoes if you don't want to use oil so i used the paper parchment paper over my baking pan i arranged everything yeah it's quite a lot though but yeah i like doing it in like reasonable quantities so that i don't have to redo over and over so yeah i just applied as you can see drizzled it on top of it then i used my hands to massage it please don't come for me you can wear gloves if you if you want but i'm eating it alone i was eating it alone so yeah i used my hand for it obviously my hands were washed then this is not you god guys this is i had suya pepper inside inside this container so i just drizzled like some suya pepper to give you that extra vibe you understand so um when i was done i kept it in the oven i set my oven to four actually 450 degree yeah because i wanted it to be very hot and i didn't want to waste time yeah and i wanted the body to be like crunchy crunchy yeah so yeah um it's 450 the oven preheated first yeah then after like 30 minutes it was already like sizzling and drizzling and all you get so i didn't even have to like let it stay for so long for one hour it was just like 30 minutes and you can see just exactly how i wanted it golden brown perfect you see i had like 30 minutes to go but i didn't want it to burn so i just like turned it off and um yeah it was perfect trust me so that's just like my simple recipe you can play 
along with the um seasonings and uh, yeah anything you want to add to it is fine but this is what i use you can try it out if you want you can just add salt and pepper it's still going to come out nice so this is just a basic simple recipe but definitely i'm starting off easy all the time yeah i'll be going into the complex one so you can pair this up with um chicken fish eggs stew sauce whatever you want to pair it with and you'll be good so you can see the body is crunchy the inside is well baked and basically that's just it so usually i just put it in the fridge and anytime i'm hungry i microwave it and it's good to go yeah so guys i hope you enjoyed this my recipe vlog and definitely i'll do better in my next vlog thank you so much for watching and um yeah thank you for everyone that requested for the vlog bye